do still keep their differenti differentiation. <laughs> Welcome back. So I got a video for y'all today about these palettes right here from Essence. So these are their travel palettes. So there are four different ones. So we're just going to chat about these palettes. We will look at some swatches. I'll let you guys know my thoughts on the formula of these shadows and then the palettes overall, like each of them, and then overall thoughts. And then I actually filmed a little tutorial on how I did this look right here. So yeah, just gonna do a little review and then throw in a tutorial at the end. So let's get to it. Came in a little bit closer so that you guys could see these a little bit more close up. Okay, so the first one is Salut Peli. That's my best attempt at that. I love the graphic on this one. I think it's so pretty. The whole design is really, really beautiful. This is what the back looks like. Nice sturdy cardboard packaging. So very functional packaging. Um, there is a nice mirror in here and it's a functional mirror. So that's nice. As far as what you're getting in this one, this is an overall kind of pinky, burgundy, cool toned sort of a palette. So just jumping in with some of my feedback that I have on most all of these palettes is I would definitely change something in I think each one of them we'll get to each one and then I can kind of tell you my thoughts on them but I would change change some of the colors in each one like this one specifically these two colors right here are really really close so I wish that there were maybe one darker shade in here I do feel like this one does the best job at having light shades blending shades and then a darker shade but I wish that there were maybe one other darker shade instead of one of those because they're so similar but i think this one does a pretty good job of kind of having light medium um, deeper shades and then also shimmery mixed with matte so there is that one if you like kind of pinky shades i think you would really like this palette here are the swatches on this one beautiful now i do find also that with these the um, cooler tone shades seem to need to be built up a little bit more, like the cool tone shades in this one, and then another one that we're about to uh, chat about. I think the cooler shades seem to need a little bit more building, so I do note that about them, but I mean, look how pretty and pigmented that one is. Very easy to build up. That takes very little building, actually. Look at those. Super light catching and reflective and metallic. Gorgeous. This one is stunning. So overall, I really do like this one. I would just maybe, like I said, change out one of those and then put in like a dark, um, cool tone chocolatey sort of a shade, but just a pretty palette. Next up is Hello New York. So here is the graphic on this one, really pretty. I think the graphic totally matches what's inside this palette, the whole kind of vibe of New York as well, that kind of concrete jungle sort of a, a theme to it. This is what the back looks like. So this is a very cool tone palette. So if you like um, grays, silvery, icy sort of purpley shades and blues, I think you would enjoy this palette. There are just two mattes in here, um, this one and this one, those are mattes, and then the rest are shimmery and or metallic shades. So let me show you swatches on this one. So if you like cool tone shadows, I think this would be the palette for you for sure. This one's not personally my favorite. Um, I don't mind cool tone shades. I actually really like cool tone shades, but I just don't wear them as much, especially like gray sort of colors. I did wear this one one day and I had to build up this color a lot. I think it just has to do with the nature of that color though. It's just a lighter gray color. I don't think that it's necessarily the formula. I think it's just the fact that it's a light gray. So had to build that one up quite a bit. Um, but I did end up with this really fun kind of icy purpley sort of a look. Um, so yeah, I think if you like cool tone shades, this is a fun palette. This one is good. Hey, Sydney, super duper cute. The outside is beautiful. And again, it matches the whole inside vibe. Like the colors happening here are the same sort of colors happening on the inside of the palette. So I think that is really, really fun. There are one, two, three mattes in here. Once again, I would have changed one of these two colors out for, I don't know, maybe like a, like a super duper gold or something like that is maybe what I would have changed because you'll see in the swatches, they're pretty, pretty similar. But I think it's a really fun um, kind of collection of colors in here that you have these warm tones and then you have these fun pops of greens and 
turquoisey teal shades. This one right here needs to be built up a little bit, but it can be built up on itself. It just takes a little bit more building than these others. Like this one I have on my lower lash line and it is such a pretty green. So here are the swatches on these. Really pretty, but you can see these right here are pretty close. Um, this one is just slightly more champagne and this one is just slightly more pinky. So maybe make this one a lot more gold or something. So that's something I would have changed with it. But overall, I really like this one. This one is definitely one of my favorites of the bunch. Beautiful. And last up, we have Ola Rio. This one is so pretty. Love the graphic on it. Love how it kind of catches the light with the lettering and the trees. It's just really, really pretty. And then as far as what's happening in this palette, this is overall kind of a warm tone palette. There are some kind of coppery burgundy sort of shades. It's really fun. Uh, metallic y pinky purple. Now, I would definitely change something in this palette. I would switch out one of these two kind of creamy matte shades for some kind of a mid tone blending shade. There's no real blending shade in this one. So, I do uh, find myself grabbing the Gaudet Sydney. These actually pair really nicely together. But to make this one a standalone palette, that's definitely something I would have changed about it because I love this palette but I do find myself having to grab something outside of it to create a full look. But this one is stunning. There are one, two, three mattes in here, and then the rest are metallic and or shimmery. Let me show you the swatches. I love this one. I think this is so pretty. Like that is stunning. This one is stunning. This is amazing. This is gorgeous. That's a great deep shade. Really, just switch out one of these because they're so close. Oh, so pretty. These work really well as cheek highlighters too. I've worn them multiple times that way. So very pretty, very versatile. This one's probably my favorite. Okay, so those are the four palettes. So now let's chat about formula and then my overall thoughts on these palettes. So formula, I find it to be really workable. So while I do find that I have to build up those mid-tone, cool tone shadows, I find that across a lot of brands. So I think that just has to do with the nature of that sort of a color. So I do find that, but the mattes are very blendable. They're very buildable. They do keep their differentiation of color really well. I think they could do that a little bit more, but they're not getting muddy, if that makes sense. So they do still keep their differenti differentiation, <laughs> differentiation of color, but I do find that sometimes I have to go back and forth a little bit to kind of build up more of whatever color I want to stand out a little bit more. So while they do keep differentiation of color, I think they could do it a little bit more, but still very workable, especially for a drugstore shadow. I think it's very workable, especially for the price point. And you saw in the swatches, the metallic -y shades are beautiful. And those were dry swatches. So they're beautiful dry, but then also really kicked up a notch with a setting spray. So you can really end up with some beautiful eye looks. I don't find these fading throughout the day. So these are right at, I think, $10 a piece. So I think they have a great price point, beautiful packaging to them. And I think they're a good formula. While I would switch out a few of the different shades happening in each palette, I think overall, really great palettes. I think they're fun. I love the theme of them. These two are my favorites. I think they're beautiful and I think they pair really well together. So these two are my favorites and my standouts. These are the ones that I find myself grabbing for and I would probably recommend the most, but I think it has to do with just, I like these colors the most. So I would say, I don't think that you're gonna be disappointed if you like these kind of colors in these because they're still really fun. So yeah, those are my overall thoughts on these palettes. So now we're gonna get to the little quick tutorial on this look, so let's get to it. Okay, so I've already applied some eyeshadow primer. So I'm gonna set that from a shade in Ola Rio. I'm gonna get this one right here and use that to set my eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna use a shade from Good Day, Sydney. This one right here. I'm gonna get that on a crease brush. This is from Alter Ego. Tap off my brush and then just apply this and build this up in my crease and transition area. I'm gonna take a shade from Ola Rio. I'm gonna use this one right here. Get that on a chic eyeshadow brush. Tap off my brush, I'm gonna use some setting spray and apply this all over my lids and build this color up. I'm gonna take a Morphe M507 brush and go in with a shade from Good Day Sydney, this dark shade right here. 
tap off my brush and then just build this up in my outer corner just from just from just for some nice depth and dimension I'm gonna take a tiny flat brush this is from Alamar cosmetics I'm gonna get some of this golden shade from Ola Rio so taking that shade right there tapping off my brush spraying it with some setting spray and then I'm going to apply this to the inner part of my lids and then also bring a little bit on the inner corners. So just kind of building this up, sort of making a, a sunset sort of an eye. Tapping a little bit more of that coppery shade on the middle of my lid, just with my finger, just to kind of keep that coppery look there. Now I'm gonna apply some liner and mascara to my upper lash line and upper lashes. So I'm gonna do that. I'll list all these down below for you. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and applied some concealer, powder, bronzer, and blush. So for my lower lash line, I'm gonna use a shade from G'day Sydney. I'm gonna take this one right here on a little tiny brush. This is the BH Cosmetics number 10. Get that on that brush, tap it off. This one's a really soft one. Spray it with setting spray and then line this along my lower lash line. Then for a little random fun pop of color, I'm gonna use one from G'day Sydney, this one right here, this fun green. On that same brush, I just wiped it off. Getting that on my brush, spraying my brush, and then I'm gonna put just a little bit of this on my lower lash line right here on the inner part. And I'm just gonna finish up with some CoverGirl Clump Crusher on my lower lashes. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. Please do a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below what you think about these palettes. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on them. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.